hey guys welcome to winnie studio and welcome to another brand new photoshop tutorial and today we'll be creating a simple poster design for nike and this psd file color alerts brushes uh, or any anything that i'm using in this tutorial will be available on my patreon so if you want to support me through my patreon please check in the description below and again if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please do subscribe my channel because this will help me a lot to grow and with that note let's dive into the video so first thing first let's create a composition so for that press ctrl and n and i will just go for 11 over 8.5 and let's make it a landscape uh, orientation and just keep the resolution as 300 and keep the rest as default and let's click on create now let's uh, do some selection so let's uh, go over here I'll just make a rough selection uh, it doesn't has to be perfect now let's right click let's make a selection and let's create a layer max and let's drag and drop this image right over here and control T let's make it a little bigger and right click let's do a warp so maybe something like that Uh, let's go back to this main image again and let's uh, get some cutouts. So go to the pen tool and let's make the selection. Make a selection and let's make a copy. So press Ctrl J. So there will be a one copy. So let's move this layer right over here. Control T, let's do a warp again. Or, yeah, maybe let's keep it right over here. Let's do a warp again. Yep, let's keep it something like that. Control T, let's add some rotation. Yep, let's keep it right over here. And let's erase some of these parts, maybe. Yep, something like that. And again, let's uh, drag and drop this main uh, image right over here. I think I have got some saddles part over here. So let's get rid of these parts. So for that, go to pen tool and let's make a selection. Yep, now right click let's make a selection and let's fill this part with black Control G and let's uh, make this a little bigger Control T let's make it a bigger and then let's add some rotation yep, let's keep it right over here now let's uh, select the layer, go to edit and let's apply a puppet warp tool and let's add a point and let's, let's move it a little down, something like that and let's, let's apply it, control T, let's add some rotation again and let's make it a little bigger. Yep, let's yep, maybe something like that and let's apply a puppet warp again uh, I think. yep and let's uh, keep this layer inside a group so control G and let's add a layer max and go to the brush and let's go for a hard brush and let's get uh, read of 
some of these parts. Let's go back to this image and let's drag and drop another layer right over here. Control T. Let's uh, do a horizontal flip and let's add one right over here. And again, let's make a copy. Control J. Control T. Let's do a warp. that and let's keep it under this layer control T yep. let's keep it right over here and let's do the same thing control J control T let's flip it in other side and let's keep one maybe right over here and let's make it a little smaller and let's keep this under this layer yep something like that and let's go over here and let's grab uh, something different so go to the pen tool and let's make some selection right over here right click let's make a selection let's make a copy and Let's move this. Let's move this over here. Control T. Let's make it a little bigger. Something like that. And let's keep it maybe right over here. And let's create a layer max. Go to the brush and using the black brush, let's get rid of. Oh, let's go for a soft brush. And let's get rid of some of these parts. And let's get those parts back. Yep. Yep, something like that. And let's make oh one more copy. Control J, Control T. Maybe let's do a horizontal flip. Yep. Just to give some variations and again let's get rid of these parts mm -hmm. and let's move it maybe right over here control T yeah, let's keep it right there and And again, let's uh, make a copy, Control J, Control T. Let's keep it above this layer, Control T. And let's keep it right over here. Now let's go over here, create a new layer and go to the brush and let's go for a soft brush and let's squeeze this brush. Maybe something like, maybe let's squeeze some more. Yep, something like that. And let's add some saddles. Maybe let's uh, decrease the opacity. Uh, let's create a new layer again. Yep. like that let's add some right over here and let's create a new layer let's create a clipping max 
and let's make this press normal and let's add some shadows over here let's increase the Let's erase these parts maybe we don't need over here. Yep, something like that. Let's do some adjustment over here. So let's go over here, control G. Maybe it's too high. Let's let's keep it right over here. Again, same thing for another layer. Or what I can do is let's let's drag this whole thing right over here and let's keep it inside a group control G let's create a layer max and go to the brush and let's go for a black brush and let's get some of these parts back Yep, something like that. And let's uh, move everything a little down, maybe right over here. And let's move this cloud image right over here. And let's keep it all the way to the bottom. And control G, let's add. Okay, let's add some rotation. Yep, maybe let's keep it like that. And let's make another copy. Control J, Control T. Let's keep this maybe something like that. And let's create a layer max. Go to the brush and let's erase some of these hard parts yep something like that and now let's drag and drop this uh, flare image right over here and let's keep it maybe somewhere around here and let's change the blending mode to screen control T let's make that a little bigger yep something around this size and again let's uh, make a copy of this main background control J and let's move it all the way to the top and from here let's uh, delete uh, the layer max control T let's move it right over here let's increase the size some more and let's go to the filter and let's go for let's go to the filter and let's go for blur and let's go for a Gaussian blur or yep let's go for a Gaussian blur and let's let's decrease it a little bit And just to get a good blend, so this layer, create a layer max and go to the brush and using the black color, let's blend this a little more. Yep, something like that. And again, we're gonna add some blur later again. So let's keep it like that. Now let's create a new layer and go to the brush and let's go for a fog brush. So I'll just go for, maybe I'll just go for, let's see, Let's go for this one. Let's increase the size. And let's go for a kind of white color. Yep. Something like that. And now let's do a one more. 
let's go for this color this uh, this brush and let's add some maybe right over here and let's drop down the opacity just just like so and again let's do the same thing for the very first one let's drop down the opacity just just like so and now let's uh, uh, create a new layer go to the uh, edit go to fill and let's fill it with 50% gray let's change the blending mode to soft light and let's do some dozen burn so let's go for a burn tool press let's add some burn on the very bottom something like that and now let's go to over here maybe let's decrease the opacity some more yep something like that and uh, let's create a new layer again go to the fill edit go to fill and let's fill it with 50% gray and again change it to soft light and let's make those parts more darker yep and control T let's move this layer maybe right over here and let's move it all the way to the bottom control t yep now let's merge all this layer control shift alt and e let's go to the filter and let's go for a camera raw filter and let's increase a clarity let's increase the texture and let's increase the noise reduction yep let's increase the color noise reduction too and for the saturation let's increase the saturation for green and let's increase for orange and let's increase for yellow too you know, let's increase the saturation overall or maybe vibrance yep something like that let's drop down the highlights just a little touch and let's increase the shadows just like so all right now let's apply a color lookup and from here click on load now I'll just go for my moodlet so select this one and click on load so this is what we got and again let's make a copy of this layer and let's move it right over here control T and let's make a kind of light streak right over here not too big yep maybe something like that let's go to the filter and let's apply a blur and let's apply a Gaussian blur maybe some more yep yep something like that and now let's create a new layer again go to the edit go to fill let's go for 50% gray again and let's change it to soft light and let's do some dozen brown so this time i'll just go for a dodge tool let's add some dodge right over here maybe some over here too and now let's go for a burn tool let's add some burn right over here all right now let's merge all this layer Control shift alt and e and let's make a copy Control j 
let's go to the filter and like again let's apply a Gaussian blur and let's click on OK now let's create a layer max let's fill it with black and let's go back to the brush and using the white brush let's go for a normal brush soft brush and let's go for a white brush and let's get some of uh, the blur back yep and let's drop down the opacity now let's add some final text create a new layer on very top go to the brush and let's go for a white brush and let's drop down the opacity just just like so yeah so that's the final and that's the wrap up for today's video and I hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.